Is this, Nick, we're good? Is this the look that we're wanting for the, we're for the, right now. like we're filming right now? We're live right now. Like it's recording. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 hey, 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 Kids Way Studios, what's up and welcome to week number, we're in week three, right? Three? Three, yeah, three. Week number three of our series called 5K. This series has been absolutely awesome. If you've been with, with us for the past two weeks, you've learned that we're talking about two words. We're talking about practice and we're talking about commitment. And if you haven't heard about commitment, it might be a new word for some of you guys. The way we're thinking about commitment is like this. Check it out. Commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. That's right, making a plan and putting it into practice. So you might say, well, Pastor Julian, what are we making a plan for? We're making a plan to live in a godly way, just like our memory verse in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8 says. But we're not just making a plan to live in a godly way. We're making a plan so that we can practice what matters most, and that is loving God and loving others. That's what matters most. And in week one, we kind of heard about how we can plan to do those things. And that plan includes hearing, which we talked about last week, and this week, number two, step two in that plan, includes praying. And today we're gonna to talk about praying. And our big answer even says that. It says, practice praying to God. Say that with me, say practice praying to God. That's right, you can practice praying to God. Just like the disciples that walked with Jesus, they actually came to a point in time to where they asked him, they were like, Lord, show us how to pray. They asked him, how do we pray? How should we pray? And God answered him, or Jesus answered him, answered all of them in that moment. And we're gonna be looking at that. So if you have your Bibles, make sure you pull them out and go ahead and open them to the book of Luke. All right, we'll get started from there and make sure that you have something to write with because I want you to highlight your Bibles and get ready for that because if you ever have a question, well, I don't really know how to pray. What should I pray? What can I pray? You can pray this Bible verse. Say it out loud, say it in your head. But if you ever have a question on how you should pray, this is it. So. Kidsway Studios, as we get into that, as we prepare for that, we are gonna focus in on Jesus, and you already know the way that we do that. We're gonna sing, we're gonna praise, we're gonna dance, and we're gonna have a great time, and we're gonna do that right now. So go ahead and stand up out of your seat, and let's go. Feel the wonder, say his name, watch the darkness slip away. Put your power on display Say goodbye to fear and shame Bye. 
The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 1 through 4. You know, there are a lot of things that we just don't know about Jesus. What was his favorite food? What kind of games did he like to play when he was growing up? How many brothers and sisters did he have? But there's one thing we do know. Jesus loved to talk to his Father, God. In fact, Jesus made a habit of prayer. He would even slip away early to spend time in the quiet with God before the crowd showed up. His closest friends, the disciples, saw how important prayer was to Jesus. But they had some of the same questions you might have. When should I pray? Oh, what kind of words should I use? How do I talk to someone I can't see with my eyes? One day, Jesus took time alone to pray, as usual, and when he was finished, one of his friends got up the courage to ask, Lord, teach us to pray. Now, Jesus didn't get frustrated with his friends for not understanding how to pray, and he didn't give them this long list of complicated words. When thou prayest, thou must speaketh thusly. And Jesus didn't tell them to set aside five hours every day to pray. Begin praying promptly at 641, then go till 1107 with exactly one break at 922 AM for a sip of water. Instead, Jesus gave his friends a simple example. When you pray, this is what you should say. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Well, okay, that's great. It's simple, it's direct. So does that mean we just memorize that prayer and say it over and over to God? Well, actually it is a great idea to memorize that prayer, but God likes it when we get creative, when we take the ideas from that prayer and make them our own. Let's take a look. Father, may your name be honored. Because of Jesus, we can all call God Father. He's like the best parent ever, a perfect one. And there is no one else in the whole world like God. May your kingdom come. Now, prayer is not making God do something for us. God is a king. He made everything and everyone, and his kingdom comes when we show our love to him by giving his love to those around us. Give us each day our daily bread. Okay, let's see, we got white bread, rye, uh, the weird nutty kind, gluten-free, Kaiser roll, tortilla. Actually, this part of the prayer isn't just about bread or really not just about food. It's about humbly asking God for everything we need every single day, including food, clothes, shelter, connection with other people, kindness, patience, and grace, the things we need in fresh supply every single morning. Forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who sins against us. There is not a single day that we do not mess up in some way. You snap at your little brother. You laugh along when other kids are making fun of the new girl. You sneak an extra cookie without asking. Jesus said it's important to start fresh each day, to ask for forgiveness and freely offer forgiveness to others who have hurt you too. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Jesus knew that every day you would face tough situations that would threaten to trip you up. Times that you would maybe be tempted to not act in a way that showed love to others. And in those moments, you can use God's strength as a, as a lifeline to carry you through. Okay, there is a lot packed into that one simple prayer. But if you found a quiet place and put it into your own words, it might sound a bit like this. Dear Father, there is no one like you. Please help all of us to show your love to each other. Give us everything that we need to get through today. Please erase all the wrong things I've done and help me not to hold on to the wrong things others have done to me. Give me your strength to keep from doing anything that hurts you or anyone else today. In your name, amen. 
You can use these ideas from Jesus' prayer to talk to God anytime, anywhere. Whether it's 20 seconds or 20 minutes, it fills God's heart with joy when you choose to connect with Him. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but He brought me in. Oh, His love for me. Oh, His love for me. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Free at last, He has ransomed me. His grace runs deep. One a slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I Kids Way worshiping with you is so absolutely amazing and worship is so important in our relationship with God. Thank you so much for spending that time with us today. And hey, we're talking about practice and commitment. Remember, commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. And today, we talked about practicing praying to God. That's our big answer, right? Practice praying to God. And if we're gonna practice prayer, it's really nice to have an outline of what that looks like. And we heard that in our Bible story today. If you have your Bible and you have something to write with, make sure that you highlight this verse. Luke chapter 11, verse one through four. This is where Jesus tells the disciples, hey, pray like this. And it's so very important because so often, sometimes we're like, ah, like I'm so upset or I'm so mad, I don't know what to pray. Or maybe sometimes we might just catch ourselves in a moment where it's like, Lord, like I just don't know what to pray. 
But we can pray this verse. God gives us this outline and says, hey, when you're not sure what to pray, when you don't have words of your own, pray this. Luke chapter 11, verses one through four. Make sure that you highlight it. Make sure that you write it down. You can say this prayer anytime. It's so absolutely great. God loves us so much that he gave us this prayer to pray. But that's not the only thing we can pray. Remember, you can pray in your own words. It doesn't have to be a specific set of words. God wants to hear from you. He wants to hear from your heart. He wants to know about your day. We can pray to him in many, many different ways. There's no right way to pray. Whatever is in your heart, however you wanna to talk to God, talk to him. He just wants you to talk to him. So Kids Way Studios, remember this verse, remember our big answer, remember that this plan to love God and love others is so very important to living a godly life. Our memory verse is in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Do you remember what it says? Come on, let's say it together. Training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Let's say that one more time. Training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Kids Way Studios, we hope that you had such a great time today. I know that we had an awesome and amazing time hanging out with you today. And I hope that you guys stay safe. I hope that you're doing good. And we cannot wait to see you guys, to hear from you. We absolutely love spending this time with you. And until next time, you guys be good, stay safe, and we'll catch you then. Bye. It's always been my dream to be a street loser. Going down steep inclines at incredible speeds while lying on my back, feeling the wind in my back. And today is the day that dream comes true. Nothing is gonna get in my way. <laughs> mm. oh, I forgot my helmet! Ah! Oh, no! John! Oh, oh, Brandon! Brandon, thank you for rescuing me! I can't do it! I'm so scared, I can't be a street loser! Well, if it's any consolation, John, you'll always be a loser to me. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to the So-and-So Show. I am Brandon. And I am John. Chew your words. Chew your uh, words. We've got a great day planned for you, isn't that right, John? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah is German for yes, in case you were wondering. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> can't loop, can't loop a lot. Can't a loop, can't loop a lot. We have a very special guest coming up on the show, and John is a little nervous about Ms. it. Miss Millicent Protzig, yes, my theater teacher. Mm -hmm. Theater! Theater! <laughs> That's right. Theater! She'll be, she'll be here in a minute. Uh huh. I recently auditioned for a community theater production of War and Peace, the musical, and I got cast in a role, so I need some help with my enunciation. Enunciation? I'm. I'm pretty good at that, but why don't you, just in case, explain what enunciation is to the folks out there. All right. It is the practice of clearly pronouncing your words so they are easy for everyone to hear and understand. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? It is the practice I'm of- I'm kidding. Oh. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. have arrived. Oh, uh, come on in and have a seat. Nonsense! 
When you sit, you lose all of your energy. Everyone stand! Oh, oh. Hello, Ms. Protzink. Oh, Jonathan, it is so good to see you. I hear you need help with your enunciation. <laughs> he sure does. What was that? I was just saying that, that he sure... Uh, uh, dear boy, I cannot understand a word that you're saying. I, I, I do need help with enunciation, Ms. Pratzig. It appears that you're not the only one. <laughs> Wait, are you referring to me? No idea what you're saying. No, I just... Yeah, shh! Prattle no longer, my weak-lipped friend. It is time to play the ancient theater game known as... Spittle Spattle! Spittle Spattle! This exercise will allow you to let your salivary glands and your vocal folds go. Salivary glands? I will give you a phrase to say. You will take a sip of water and then proceed to say the phrase as distinctly as possible. Why? What did he say? He said, why? Well, every good stage actor knows that the more you spit when you speak, the more clearly understood you will be. Oh. Again, no clue. I just said, oh. Let us begin. Take a sip. And repeat after me. Bombastic prepositions. Bombastic prepositions. Bombastic, Bombastic prepositions. Again, again. Uh, okay. Bombastic prepositions. Bombastic, Bombastic prepositions. You both need to use your lips, your lungs, and your loudness more. Take another sip. Second phrase. Pumpernickel pretzel bites. Pumpernickel pretzel bites. Pumpernickel pretzel bites. Oh, 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 much, much better. <laughs> now, one more. Mm -hmm. 55 feet of frivolous, flimsy flapjacks. Mm. Frivolous, <laughs> of frivolous, flimsy flapjacks. 55 feet of frivolous, flimsy, flimsy flapjacks. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, let's see who won. Oh, how can you tell? Shh, just let her do her thing. Well, clearly, Jonathan is the more advanced expectorator. Oh, wow. Uh, thanks, Miss Protzig. He's what? What? Come on! I'm the best spitter. Indeed you are. You are fully prepared for your upcoming production. By the by, what part did you get? Oh, um, I'm tree number two. Tree number two. Yeah. Oh, you know, as I say, there are no small parts, only I exit stage right. Oh. Wow, isn't that great? What? It's What is up? Kellen! Kellen! Whoa! Brandon, I've never heard you speak so so clearly. Really? Chalk it up to the genius of Miss Protzig. What have you got for us, Kellen? Man, I mean really clear. Anyway, today we're talking about a very important practice that everyone needs to learn. I'm talking about prayer. When it comes to praying, Jesus set a great example for us. He never missed an opportunity to spend time alone with his heavenly father. Jesus even taught his disciples how to pray. Today, we call that the Lord's Prayer. What is, oh no. Glad. 
glad you came. Glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow by blow of the Bible story on the Melv Solomon story recap. Kellen, buddy, so glad to have you back on my show. I'm Melv Solomon, and this handsome fella tickling the ivories right over here is my brother-in-law, Greg. Say hello, Greg. <laughs> Always the scene stealer, that Greg. You're a scene stealer, am I right? <laughs> How could he not be with that handsome mug? Hey, Melv. Yeah, Kellen, what's going on, mi compadre? Uh, just trying to teach everyone about the Lord's Prayer. Lord's Prayer? I love the Lord's Prayer. Say no more, Kellen. I'd be happy to jump in with a little ditty from time to time. Don't have to ask me twice. But I didn't ask you once. Ah! So Jesus' disciples asked him to teach them how to pray. Jesus replied, when you pray, this is what you should say. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. So when you pray, you can start by telling God how amazing he is. Beautiful words for a beautiful ditty. Hit it, Greg. Greg. Greg! I have a handsome mug. <laughs> Stayed up a little late watching the telly, didn't you? I knew it. Play the tune. That's the one. God, you're great. God, you're awesome. When you made the universe, you weren't playing opossum. You're the best, you're the top, you're the cream of the crop. But I'm still confused why you made mosquitoes. Back to you, Kellen. All right. Next, Jesus told his disciples to pray this. Give us each day our daily bread. Oh, I got the perfect song for that one. Hit it, Greg. Greg. Greg! It's a cup with a handle. Play the song, Greg. Yeah. Now we're cooking. You say holla, I say ciabatta. You say sourdough, I say soda. Chala, ciabatta, sourdough, soda. Just don't forget I'm gluten free. What a prayer, Kellen. What a prayer. Uh huh. Just to be clear, God wasn't saying to only pray for different kinds of bread. Jesus was telling us to be open and honest about the needs in our life. God wants to hear about it all. Jesus finished his prayer this way. Forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Let's be honest. We all make bad choices from time to time. We all sin. We all need forgiveness. So Jesus reminded us to go to God for that forgiveness and to ask him to help us make wiser choices. And also, we should be willing to forgive people when they've sinned against us. Love it. Love it. How about I sing one more tune summing up the whole shebang? I don't think that's really necessary. Hit it, Greg. 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 I'm awake. Oh. Coffee. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Add a baby. Who's awesome? You are. Who gives me what I need? You do. Who forgives me? That's you. Cause it's just what you do. Remind me to love people how you've shown you love me. Who feels better? That's me, cause I talk to you. I'm not gonna lie, that was lovely. I know. Let's hear that whole prayer one more time. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. That's beautiful, Kellen. Hey, Greg. How about I take you out for a fresh loaf of bread to go with that mug of Joe, huh? <laughs> All right, catch you later, Kellen. Bye, Mel. I'm outie. I didn't mean right now, Greg. I meant after the show. So, what'd you guys think of the Lord's Prayer? I think it's great. I've already got it memorized. Ready? Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Sounds great. But you know, you don't have to say it all proper like that. 
God will totally understand even if you don't pronounce each word perfectly. You don't even have to use the exact words Jesus used. So we don't just recite this prayer? Oh, uh, well, you can if you want, but you can totally pray it in your own words too. We can tell God he's awesome, ask for him to provide for our needs, ask for forgiveness when we mess up, and tell him everything we need help with. It's important to speak from the heart. I just think that it's amazing that the creator of the universe actually loves to hear from us. You're right about that. Hey, thanks for the story, Kellen. Ah, no problem. It's what I do. I'll see you guys. You know, I'm glad we learned how to pray today. I'm going to need all the help I can get to play the pivotal role of tree number two, right? Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Well, your enunciation leather, is going to be leather, great. Leather, hey, what are your red lines? Leather, anyway? yellow leather. I don't have any lines. I'm a tree. Yoda met Yeti on the plains of Serengeti. Yoda you, met Yeti on the plains you, of Serengeti. Yoda met Yeti. Reveal the, the question. Okay. Oh, how do you pray to God? Do you sing or whisper? Do you pray in your head or pronounce everything with perfect enunciation and sizzle? Do you pray inside or outside, in the dark or upside down in a tree? However you pray, talk about it with each other. Yeah, hey, hey, learn something from each other. And we'll see you next time on The, the So and So Show. show. The So and so, so, so Show. Am I saying that right? Yes. Yeah. The, the So, so and so Chew Your Words. Chew Your Words. So and So Show. No problem, come on, coffee man! Inexplicably okay. mimicking him hiccuping. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>